Hey guys, this is Comrade Kane, and today I wanted to talk about the Extended Policy Cards mod for Civ 6, because I, to me it's absolutely essential to have it installed. It's an awesome mod that helps you um, calculate the bonus, it actually shows you the bonuses for every government policy, so it makes the decision the decision of which policy to use much, much easier and the game more enjoyable. So I wanted to show you a couple of example games um, that I have played before installing the mod and after installing the mod to show you the difference in decision making. This is an example of the game where I use the policies without the mod and you can see that my choices are not optimal. For example, if we look at the gold policies, um, you can see that the colonial taxes policy would bring me 65 gold. <clears throat> this is definitely more useful than merchant confederation, for example, because it also comes with the industrial production. It's even better than the unit maintenance card. And so this mod helps you calculate the benefits instead of you trying to figure it out. Look at that. Even mercantile legacy card would be better than the confederation or levy, levy and mass. Here is an example of the game where I failed to calculate properly the output of science, for example. If you look at my policy cards, I have 24 here, and I'm only getting 27 for rationalism. Now, if we look at the available cards with the mod that calculates it for us, the International Space Agency would give me 54 signs, which is double the rationalism. Why would I keep the rationalism then? Here is another game that shows the discrepancy with and without the mod even more prominently. Look at this. So I have cards in for the science, like rationalism again, versus International Space Agency, which is five times higher in science bonus. There's no way I could have calculated it myself because I'm way too lazy. Now, the same applies to gold um, income as well. For example, look at this. These envoys add up 100 versus a 90, which is not huge, a big difference. But look at this one. It's 102. So we have two cards, Merchant Confederation and Mercantile Legacy, that is beating Economic Union. I think this mod is absolutely essential for anybody. Um, just takes away this monotone, you know, time that you have to spend calculating the bonuses. I absolutely, hands down, implore you to install the mod. I can show you how to install it on PC. Using the Steam desktop client, you can just go on top here and um, community, workshop, search for civilization and then search for the first mod that will be it's called um, better report screen this is the first mod that you would need to install for the policy card mod to work now this mod is also very useful as it's showing you different um, stats in one convenient uh, window when it comes to resources and trade. In order to install it, all you have to do is go in here and click subscribe, and it will automatically install onto your game. Then you just have to look for a different mod. So we go back to the workshop. You have to make sure you search Sid Meier's Civ 6 and you type in extended policy cards, which is this mod by Aristos. Same thing, 
you go in and then you install this mod. Once the mode is downloaded and installed, you can check if it's enabled by restarting the game, exiting into the main menu. Under additional content, mods, and if you uncheck official content and there's community created content, you will see that there is a better report and there's also extended policy cards. You can see that I'm also using detailed map tags, which helps to plan out your city and districts. This is awesome, awesome mod as well, but it's not as important as these ones. So I greatly recommend you install those mods and enjoy the game at a whole different level.